We have a very special story to share with you tonight. Our very own Nick Paparella is marking a major milestone with CTV London today, his 40th anniversary. We have all come to love the man in front and behind the camera, and tonight we invite you to take a look back on his legendary career with us as we say congratulations. There is no other person quite like him. And you know what, folks? I think I could drive one of these babies. A career spanning four decades, Nick Paparella is a fixture in the London community. His friendly and familiar face and voice have made him a household figure. In London, Nick Paparella, News Now. Born and raised in Oshawa, Nick graduated from the broadcasting journalism program at Fanshawe College in 1981. He worked briefly at CJBK Radio and CKCO in Kitchener. The following year, February 1st, 1982, he landed his dream job and he never looked back. Mr. Thibault has been charged with careless driving. Over the years, the ownership and brand of the London station has changed many times. From the new PL to A Channel to A News and finally CTV London. Through all the changes, Nick was the constant, steady presence. Let's talk live now with CTV London's Nick Paparella. He's on the campus of Western University. Uh, Nick, Nick has interviewed thousands of people over the years. A man of integrity who people can trust, he has all the connections. Even in the early days of his career, Nick worked the court beat. Forty years later, he's still covering the big stories of the day. Veltman's virtual appearance in court. Day in and day out, he reports on complex and difficult topics but it's the lighter side of Nick that his viewers have really come to love. Who let the dogs out, you say? Never afraid to put himself out there or push his limits, he looks for every chance to make people laugh. <laughs> and if you know Nick, you know he loves food and he always enjoys a good rib. But it's not just his work in front of the camera that has made him a household name. It's the countless hours he spends outside of work, giving back to the community he knows so well. Are you all ready to have the lights come on at Christmas or what? Over the years, Nick has emceed countless community events and has volunteered his time with dozens of organizations, including Diabetes Canada, Autism Ontario, the London Food Bank, and My Sister's Place, just to name a few. Hi, what'd you like? Uh, my Sister's Place has always been near and dear to Nick's heart, so our whole family has, has always contributed. Genuine and kind. Nick is always the first person to say hello, to shake your hand, or give you a hug. He's the man who's always cracking jokes and making people smile. You come for the food. Yeah. A woman Just after like my, you. A woman after That's my own heart. Right. Just like you. A father of three young men whom he is incredibly proud of. He is the ultimate family man and has always said, family comes first. At 62, Nick looks as if he's barely aged a day. Have a slice. Come on, baby. In 2008, he made a brief cameo on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno while running the Boston Marathon. Today, he's still running. Up next, another Iron Man. Nick Paparella. He is one of a kind. His legacy of informing, educating, and entertaining continues, we hope, for many more years. Congratulations, Nick. Such amazing memories, and Julie joins us live outside with the man of the hour right now. Julie, what a remarkable career. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Jaden. And of course, uh, Nick, we just saw uh, a story of all of your uh, incredible accomplishments. I have to say congratulations on 40 years. You are the most genuine person. What you see is uh, what you get with you. And, and you are, uh, Sasha mentioned, your kindness and you're a family man. But congratulations on 40 years. How does it feel? Well, very, very <laughs> humbling to be here in the same place. First of all, uh, uh, Julie, thank you for the very, very kind words. I want to thank uh, uh, Sasha. Uh, for the kind words, but you know what? Uh, to make it to 40 years, you need a, a ton of support, and I've always received support. You need help, uh, you know, right from even today, uh, our general manager, Jennifer McClellan, you know, and before Jennifer, there was uh, Don Mumford, all the news directors. Uh, you know, uh, right now we have a wonderful news director, Kristen Weaver, and then before uh, her was Steve Young, Cal Johnstone, Derwin Smith, uh, uh, George Clark, and then originally the first one was Ron Laidlaw. And you know what? And all you guys, 
I mean, really, Jules. I mean, folks, this is who I get to work with every day. I mean, give me a break. I got the lovely and talented Julie, and, you know, I got a soft spot in my heart for you. And everyone in the newsroom, all the on-air guys, uh, you know, uh, uh, Daryl. I'm going to name uh, Miss some of the Sasha, of course, uh, Jaden, of course, on the desk, uh, the newcomer, Jennifer. But we got Daryl. We got uh, Sean. We got uh, Brian. We got uh, uh, Brent, uh, uh, Merrick, Jerry. I mean, they're all wonderful, and uh, and Rita. You, I mean, and, and, everyone that you all that you work with. Uh, we had a little celebration earlier today, yeah. and everyone got to speak a few words about you. But what always comes up is your love of community and your love of family. We have your lovely wife Ev and Marcus and Maddie, two of your sons My here high with school us. My sweetheart is here. There you go. <laughs> to support Nick uh, tonight, but Nick, tell me uh, about your love for community. I mean, we see you at all of these events, and and that's what really ties you to people here and 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 wherever you go everyone knows your name has that been something that has been strange well, over well, the years here's the deal when i came here and uh, <laughs> i was 19 i went to fan show in the broadcast journalism program i remember walking down clark road because we were, i was living out there at the time and i remember thinking you know no one knows who i am i arrived in a new city my wife and i are high school sweethearts from oshawa and i came here known and then as soon as uh, Jules, I graduated and started working here within a few months, then everybody knows you all the way from Windsor uh, to Kitchener, from Port Stanley to Godrich and everywhere in between. And only because, you know, our station has such a presence, you know, yeah. in, in the community. And you know what? The community embraced me, so I embraced them back. So, I mean, it's, it's part of what I try to teach my boys. My beautiful son, Matthew, is here. My beautiful son, Marcus, is here. And, and you try to uh, just instill in them that, you know, uh, we are so grateful. Uh, for the wonderful, wonderful community we live in. The community has embraced me, so I uh, embrace them back. And you know what, Jules, we are so privileged to raise our family in Agreed. a great community yeah. like London. And you know what, we have faithful viewers, and really my heart goes out to all those viewers who have been watching me year after year, and I'm grateful <laughs> and thankful. Also, Jules, I just want to mention, we got all the on-air people, but there's a ton of people here at CFBL TV, CTV, <laughs> London, and back in the day, all the names, New PL that work behind the scenes. Jimmy is behind the camera right now. All these people, they work tirelessly. Everyone in editing and everything. And anytime, you know, it's 5.30, I need something in a hurry, you call them and they're there. And Jules, uh, I didn't mean to make her cry, <laughs> folks, but I mean, we, well, but we really, love you and but, we, well, uh, thank you, thank and, you, thank and you. And congratulations on uh, 40 years and he's not retiring. No, 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 I'm not going anywhere, folks. Just, so if you need just... anything, call and we're still out there. And, <laughs> and I'm just so grateful and thankful and I'm privileged. It's been a privilege really, folks, to, to come into your living room every night and so I'm very very honored very very touched and and uh, and I love love my family and, and this, these, <laughs> are the, guys. these are the people a lot of the stories have been rough during the, o over the years uh, some of them you know they're not always happy stories and so these are my rocks when I go home and and also there's Julian our oldest boy uh, Matthew is at Teachers College Marcus is at Western Julian is in Rome uh, he works for the Vatican taking his doctorate and very so, very uh, proud so, yes. proud dad who yes. loves his family fiercely all right thanks so much thank Nick you, thank you. let's get to our uh, last month's bad boys